Hello, this is Nam again. I'm uh, going to do a slight experiment today because uh, earlier today I threw out my back. I think it's called in English. So I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm rather, I'd rather be standing and modeling than sitting slumping in a chair right now. But we'll see how far it goes. I can hardly make moves like this, but I can keep the world in check, of course. So I thought, let me try and record finishing this piece. I uh, did a bit of modeling in the meantime. I added the promised dead rat to the water. As you can see, quite dead. So that's uh, all fine and dandy. I don't know if I should really have it in there in the world, but well, it's there in case that I want it. I was thinking I might want to group up the um, woody bits with the water tank. Because uh, the fewer those objects around the better. So let me see. This is the tank. Those objects. This one I believe I grouped and the cap is a group. This should, uh, this should all work. So I was uh, looking around the internet for some reference and as a rare exception I wanted to show you this one because that's an excellent gas tank. So uh, this is more or less what we'll be making. An old fashioned one picked up from the skip somewhere probably. I uh, will probably add more of a valve like this here. But we'll see. We don't need them. Just a quick modeling session for the tank then. Let me check the time. Uh, the recording levels. Yeah. Recording. So. Let's start out with orange then. And always use using um, odd number of subdivisions, of course. Hmm, might it be nice to go too bigger? Oh, I can't go too bigger. Because this one's even. Huh. Okay. And we'll, we'll have to make do with this one. Obviously, there's not much of uh, a challenge in building a gas tank, I think. The challenge might be not to have it too clean and perfect. Okay, let me do it more clean and perfect. Sorry. Fine, fine, fine. And the bottom bit's not important because it won't show up in the world at all. But well, it should be there. So there we are. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, give it the final size already. I guess more or less like so. Okay, good, good. And let's add a uh, foot to it. Just a ring. I can use the uh, geometry of the Thanks so far as a guide. Um, I'm going to be editing this bit, so I'm not using the brush tool. I'm using the extrude tool, and I'm using it after having extended this bit. Again, using the extrude tool to prevent cross-section polygons from popping up all over the place, as the stroke tool currently does. And actually, this is a nicer way of modeling because you can turn 
your extrusion whichever way you want, which you can't do with the stroke tool. The stroke tool tries to make a neat stroke and you can't really turn um, the extrusion part of the stroke in all the ways you would imagine. Mm -hmm. Seems centered. Be. Oh, it's like a bomb. Well, realistically spoken, it is a bomb. That it can go boom. Hmm, let me see. This is the uh, bit that I connected the part. So let me try and select the edges here. Uh -huh. boom. I hope I'm not moaning and breathing more heavily than usual. I know the mic is close to my uh, face. I can't help, you know, inhaling. But now, with the pain, I must, I might involuntarily uh, sigh and moan a little. I hope I don't, obviously. Okay. Let's hook you and center you out. Well, this will hardly be visible, this part, so I think this is quite okay. Let's uh, weld that to the tank somehow. Okay, I don't know, with a few cube shapes like so. Line select, perfect. And let me just place those wherever I feel like it. This is a handcrafted gas tank. you and not the tank itself oh like so there hmm 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 not satisfied i'm sorry uh tweaky tweaky Well, should, should work. There we go. Now, all these gas tanks have like a extra ridge at the center for sturdiness, I guess. So let's implement that. Mm. This is the number of subdivisions I need. Uh, it's just not big enough, so let me put it down. And begin it, flip around a few times, seemingly. Uh, that could go one bigger. Oh, oh yeah. Try and grab that. Hmm. Does this work? Hmm. I have to manually, manually pick that apart a little, a bit larger, and just extrude it a little outwards. There we go. Again. Not the most challenging of designs, but it's an important part of the world. So I'm modeling it, filming it, 
Let's see what happens. Okay, so that uh, gas tank I showed you. Oh, let me not forget to save and let me save a copy just to be sure. The gas tank I showed you had like two handy handles on the sides here. Oh. So, um, again, to prevent the stroke tool from doing weird things with inside the pulleys. Let me start out with the shape and just use the extra tool. Ooh. I'm at snapping limit again. Okay. Is this maybe a bit too small then for my hands? Yeah, that's tiny. You can barely stick one finger under that. Hmm. Should I make the whole thing larger? Does it still fit into my cabinet then? Nope. Okay, I'm not entirely at human scale. Let me uh, figure out what to do here. I don't want to have it... Yeah, I guess I don't want to have it as big as the handles on the photograph suggests it should be. Oh, dang. Yeah, I really want to degroup this, so I guess at a later moment I will have to regroup the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Shame, shame. <gasps> Something uh, weird happened there. Uh-oh, I think I scaled down this part. Let me see what's in my undo buffer. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'll get you out then. Uh, you know what? I will scale you down to the correct size. And correct size being that it barely fits into the compartment here. Uh, this is about the right size like this, yeah. I'm a bit slow today, sorry. Hey, let me see. So, this is about the size I want it. I'll just take you out and model a handle that should work. So this is more like a grabbable handle size. Wider, like so. Mm hmm. We're getting there. Back to human size. Yeah, it's a bit silly how large it is. There's one other thing I could do, and that's when I group this baby up. Let's try. I'll leave that part out for a bit. I'll just scale it up a little. Oh, there's no. Probably medium, it seems. So now the handle doesn't look as silly as anymore. But it won't fit into the box anymore either. Well, barely. So, I could just make it a little shorter, which takes probably a while to select, but I will just select the top part. And move it down, and I have to move it down freehand, because the tank is already... Uh, crooked so I can't use grip mode. So this should be our new tank. Cool. Very nice. And then you sh oh you should scale back up. Be more or less around here. Hmm. And 
well, it's crooked just the way I like it. It's just, just tiny bits too crooked. <laughs> there, cool. Okay, now the handle should look less silly. Back to human scale, yeah, this should work. Excellent. So, let's extrude this bit uh, down here. And we'll try and uh, provide for an extra lip that the um, thing can be uh, what's it called? Welded down with, like so. I'm tempted to uh, bolt a screw into there, but I don't think you put screws through the walls of a pressure cylinder like this. So let's imagine that they welded this thing in place instead of bolting it down. Should work, right? Yeah, excellent. Yes, I can see that's it. Oh, oh, I fucked up. Dang, there's snapping angle issues there. So let's undo that. Try that again. Okay, there we go. No, I dare to move. Yes, yes. And we obviously need two of these. Let's not mirror the thing. Let's just bolt it on, rotate it 180 degrees. Looks better. Nice. I kind of like the stank, yes. And let's uh, start on the thing here. already lost how oh, this thing looks in the uh, reference image but I'll just try something I'm sure that it's kind of like what happens here really only with a different type of valve and probably A different attachment bar. Let's just do it like so. Should be fine. You probably won't see this. I will uh, plug this hole with another uh, bit of tubing. Um, let me see. It's good to have an extra bit here. Just making it more a bit more rugged. Yeah, I like that. Okay, but it should be pulled together lighter. Have a little attachments to the actual tank here. Mm -hmm. Neat. Cool. Okay. No, I think there were was a number written on that uh, photo ref let me just put something on here oh forget which button to press I need the trigger here and as you can see this is number 18. Dot. Hmm. Dot. I don't know. Dot. Dot. Shape. I like how uh, unreadable text gives this world, or VR in general, a bit of a dreamlike quality. 
so that should be fine. Let me, uh, is red okay? Yeah, red seems okay. Group that up. I me want to group that up as well with this bit. I will do that later. I will group it up with this bit. I may want to turn uh, uh, the thing here around still, so I'll keep that like so. I need an extra bit of rubber on the top here. Let's do that with this one. Uh -huh. Okay, now for the valve. Obviously, we have uh, this thing here. But I really don't want to use this shape, but I will use it to just have a uh, basis to work off of. Let's go measure larger than, oh, I'm losing tracking. Oh God, I should really orient myself better before making circles like this. Still, back is holding up good so that's a thing yep okay now we just need a sphere uh, just a little smaller yes and we will populate this ring with nice spheres on um, hmm. I'm not sure how many spokes this thing will gonna have. Let's just try something out and start over if it doesn't work. One in the center. Oh, see, like this, it's a cube, but like this, it's obviously a sphere. There we go. Spokes. Uh, let's uh, limit the number of polys I'm using. This is silly. Way too detailed a bit of falling here. But it does look exceptionally gassy, this valve. So it's all worth it. Uh, I'm actually not really sure if I mean that. Nope, that looks like crap. Okay, um, can we fix this somehow? Maybe by deciding to have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aha, it's an even one. We don't want that. So we want seven. This is the seven. Uh, let's do the triangle instead of the uh, quad like before. Maybe lose just, just smaller version. So puts, puts, puts. Hmm. I'm uh, doubting if this will work. Oh, red. Because these spheres are still. They're the tiniest ones I can make, but they're still kind of large. So what we're gonna do, we is go for five. It should still look like a circle or read like a circle, I should say. It's still an uneven number is very important but it's only a five side mm -hmm.
I thought that, already thought that uh, most of the time modeling this shape, this gas, gas tank would be spanned on the valve like this. I think this is way better. Let me put the spikes down, uh, the spokes down first. And let me do the sharp side up. And sphere thing in the center. Okay, I'm still not really satisfied with this piece. But I think I will keep it like this. Oh, let me pick that one up. Of course, you know. We have to finish this someday. Uh, I think I want to make it just a little thicker in some places. Mm -hmm. That's better. And of course, we will need a uh, sticky outy thing going to the bottom, so it's an actual valve sticking out of the thing. Uh huh. There we go. That's far enough, right? Yeah. Human size is okay. Okay. Well, there's my gas tank. I guess I'll uh, start hooking it up then. Oh, <laughs> uh, excuse me, missing something there. That should go to this bit. Yes. Uh, let's have it just uh, hmm, with the valve there. It's a bit big still. Uh, yeah, there's really little I can do about it now. Should I make it even shorter? I guess I can make it a bit shorter. Oh, but I already did a lettering and all. Hmm, well, I have another solution. I could just place it into that corner, or maybe even like so. Well, that would be a bit hard. Hmm. Uh, maybe over here. Well, actually, that's not such a bad idea. I mean, if this were my hitch compartment box thingy, I would probably, as soon as I notice that that valve won't ever fit beneath this lid. I would just place the thing over there, right? And then it takes some figuring out to see that the garden hose thing goes this way. And we'll probably want to angle this over here. No, that would be silly. Over here. Just about fits. Um, I could also just sink it in a tiny little. Yes. Details, people. Details. Lovely. Okay. No, nope, that looks silly. Sorry. It should stick out. Okay. Let's. Uh, Connect it up to the pipes. Uh, and for this to work, I guess I want to move this over here. The whole. Uh, 
Uh, should I? No, I won't connect the backside. That would be silly. Okay, let's use a different type of attachment of gas here. Like, like this, I guess. A uh, different color, maybe. And extra ring over here. And then, of course, we're dealing with a gas uh, piping here. We take the black rubbery plastic. Okay, let me see. I want to see if I can do this in one time, in one go. Seems a bit thick. Mm, this seems a bit thin. Let me try. Uh, it's more I have to lead it down. Let's try and put in a kink here. Just a bit of kink. How does that look? That looks a bit thin. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so I go one bigger and make a smoother overall. Holes here, which makes it look stiffer as well. Mm -hmm. Better, 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 much better. Okay, now uh, fix that up a little. And just put in an extra filler bit. Then group the whole thing into one. This is a different group, this is a different group, and this is a different group that should be fine. Well, I think we're over. almost done. Half an hour, that's fine. Just wondering if, if we uh, use the bits of wood here to keep uh, this tank in place. Why the guy? Let's call him guy. Didn't think of doing that with the gas gas tank. I think it should be uh, like a roped in place or something. Hmm. How would one rope this bit in place? I guess you could have a rope coming out of here. Let's imagine that it's attached to the outside somewhere with a little naughty bit. And then maybe it goes just around here. So and just muffling it away behind the tank here. How does that look? That looks awful. But that's mostly because of this part here. Mm -hmm. So that seems to be not that in place, but not entirely secure. Fun thing now is that it's even harder to reach this uh, little valve over here. And worse, it's Probably impossible to turn it all the way. Hmm, I should really fix that. So we have to select all of this and hope I don't miss anything. Let's turn on grip mode. Move it over a tiny little bit. There. Cool. And then we need to fix up the ropey bit. Uh, 
this should work. So there's a not going that way somehow. No one knows how. There's a ropey thing going this way. And just to make it perfectly silly, let's tie a knot over here and have an extra sturdy bit of rope just disappear under the tank here. Oh, that was one click too many. And add, of course, the naughty bits. Okay, it's a bit silly. Not sure if I uh, like what I did with the ropes, but really I should stop and just try it out in world here. Group that up, because who knows, maybe it looks fine. And it's all we needed for the set. A dead rat, a uh, cap to screw around with. Evolve for the water and evolve for the gas here. So that was about it. I hope that was uh, just as uh, little painful for you as it was for me. There. Cool. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye bye.